So I bought this Tyrannosaurus Rex in 135th from Tamiya for my youngest son Alex. Alex is five and he was very keen on building this together. T-Rex is his favourite dinosaur. You can see here a little bit of information about the beast. It's simple instructions and some suggested colours on the other side and again in Japanese. So there's not too many parts in this and the assembly is fairly simple. Therefore, I think this is a pretty good kit for uh, those starting out in scale modeling, especially those younger children who are fascinated with dinosaurs. So you can see most sides just have two parts. You've also got this tongue piece. You should paint that first. So I'm using Revell acrylics for all of this and uh, this is being done in matte red. We didn't actually look at the colours suggested by the instructions and instead I just let Alex choose which parts were going to be what colour. So this being a quite old kit, it's about 40 years old, uh, there was a bit of flash in places included on the teeth. I found that these uh, fine uh, sort of files was a really good way of uh, cleaning those out. There we are, painted the inside of the mouth in red and then it fits together like so. A bit of a join around the top, which uh, you'll need to sand down a little bit. You can see the tongue clips into place like so. And then I'm using a little extra thin just to glue this together. Then some standard Tamiya cement to glue the rest of it together. Try to encourage Alex to do as much of it as you could. If I was doing this on my own, I probably would use some putty to try to smooth out some of the joins. But as it was, I just used a sanding stick. I encouraged Alex to do some of it himself as well. The tail needs to be fully assembled before putting the rest of the body together. Giving a pedicure to a dinosaur was not something I expected to be doing in 2023. As you can see here, the assembly is quite simple. And with the kit not having too many small parts, this is really good for younger builders. Alex was desperate to put the head on. You can see how that goes on like so. Test fitting the legs. Once we were happy with those, then added some glue to secure those in place. Decided not to glue the head so that uh, it could turn around. Alex quite liked maneuvering that. The joint around the hips actually isn't too obvious so that's not so bad. You can see it quite clearly along the belly and underneath. The arms fit in simply like so say simply there we are got them in place in the end and turn them around we also chose not to glue those in place so that they could be positioned yeah <laughs>
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! At 1 35th scale, this is the same scale as much of Tamiya's armour range. So once that was all glued, we then used some of this sea green Revell. Uh, this is uh, satin matte to uh, paint it all up. Here you can see this is sped up about uh, 10 times. Alex asked me to do the head with a little bit more detail. I left it uh, unpainted around the eyes and the teeth. There you can see a bit of a join in the middle, so I did try and sand that down as much as possible. Dry brushed on some uh, sand colour for the uh, belly and uh, just sort of other parts to make it the uh, skin look a bit more mottled. And there's the teeth. I first went over with some satin white, but I felt that this looked far too much a Hollywood smile for 65 million years BC. So I later dry brushed it with some other colours, including some sort of beiges and uh, some sort of sandy colour. Also did the sort of gum areas with a bit more of the matte red. The eyes were also painted in yellow and I gave some little uh, slit pupils uh, with some black. There, I'm pretty happy with that. Doesn't look too realistic, but okay, I think. Finally, some of the sort of shading, nostrils, places like that, I added some depth by using some Tamiya black panel line accent. Fierce. Looks like I'm wiping away his tears. Now we're finished, it's time to put the head back on. As I say, this is a nice little kit. Alex is already looking forward to getting some more of these dinosaur kits to go with this one. I'd recommend this kit, it's not too expensive, and if you've got some dinosaur mad kids who are looking to get into scale modelling, this is a perfect place to start. Thanks very much, I'll see you soon.